beautiful people i hope you all are doing well today i'll take you to one of the best restaurants in the dmv it's called swahili village uh it's a kenyan restaurant it's one of the fanciest it's the fanciest rest african restaurant that i know in this area they have exquisite food the decor is perfect oh my gosh i cannot wait this is actually my third time being here as a west, a west african we think west african food is the best until i try kenyan food east african food and it, it actually challenged my way of thinking about african food in general so i'll take you with me i hope you love it come with me <laughs> karibu means welcome in swahili so this is the entrance of the restaurant it looks pretty modest but the inside is gorgeous uh, upon our arrival the host welcomed us and ask us to choose wherever we wanted to sit. They asked for the phone number and the contact name due to the COVID. They just want to know, have the contact of everyone who uh, comes to the restaurant. <laughs> Can we all be them pick? Okay. Uh, here, can we sit here? Uh, that's for six. That's for what? For six. Oh, uh, okay. We can sit right here. Yeah, here is fine. Mm -hmm. Did you notice the pieces of art at the entrance of the restaurant? And now look at this gorgeous view right here. And then uh, it just shows the Africa, like the real authentic Africa. That's beautiful. This restaurant was designed by an architect who was born in Kenya. So the owner really wanted us to travel to Kenya, to Africa, through the paintings, the type of woods, etc. Here are some samosas, really popular appetizers. And here is the main entry that I decided to get. Uh, here is what my friend got. Both tasted very succulent. The food is unique. Uh, they really like to cook with uh, coconut as well. Uh, so you taste a little bit of that coconut. Uh, they also use a lot of spices. So it is so good. You can tell it's healthy. It also has like, a lot of those spices. Apparently, Lupita Nyong'o sometimes frequents this restaurant when she's in Washington, D.C. So where I'm sitting right now is actually a favorite place to sit <laughs> when, she, when she comes to Swahili Village. The owner came up with the idea of opening a Kenyan restaurant because he said most African restaurants in the area are West African. So he wanted to bring something East African, the East African culture, to, to our area. Well, we can say he succeeded because a lot of their clientele is actually West African as well. The clientele is very diverse. American, European, African. You can find like just about everyone, just about every race. Okay, guys. So that's the end of the video. I hope you loved it. See you soon.